Today's car dealership horror story is the fast talking salesman. This is based on a true story shared by Reddit user High Rise Drifter. Names and locations have been changed to protect the guilty. About two months back, my wife and I went into a dealership to see about swapping out my wife's current lease to a newer model in the color she wants with low mileage. There are four different dealers in my area that specialize in the same SUV, so we are going to get in some numbers to take home and pour over on our own time. Never in my right mind did I think it would end up being our worst car experience to date. Being the prepared purchasers we are, we researched online and found that one dealership in particular had three cars in the color combo we wanted in stock. So of course, we started there. We were greeted by a salesman who, just by his fashion choices, seemed like a questionable character. He was wearing a black leather jacket, a bright orange t-shirt underneath, casual pants, and a big gaudy watch. Howdy folks, heard you were interested in the blue SUV today. You guys ready for a test drive? It was like listening to the side effects at the end of a prescription medication TV ad. The vehicle we were test driving was the same model and trim but it had different interior and exterior colors and was definitely the only one on the lot that we hadn't asked to see. No biggie, right? My wife was having the time of her life driving this car, and I could see we had made the right decision to come take a test drive, right colors or not. All the way through the test drive, the sales rep kept asking us to hand in our current car so they could prep it. We kept saying that we're here to do research and want to know how much it's going to cost before we hand over our current car and lock ourselves into something we potentially don't want if the numbers are too high. My wife clearly loved the car, so we went inside to talk about pricing. There were a couple of minor red flags leading up to this point that should have alerted us to leave, but nothing major. Yet. As soon as you walked into the dealership office, you could tell it hadn't been cleaned in weeks, and the display car had the engine on indoors. The air wasn't thick with the exhaust fumes, but it was definitely noticeable. It was hard to ignore the state of the showroom while we attempted to go through some numbers. Let me get your ID, he says to my wife, so I can show you what we're working with. Alrighty, folks, sign here on the dotted line. If you'll just sign on the line, we'll get you sorted. My wife and I stare down at the paper. It's a lease agreement for the car we test drove, and it didn't even factor in turning over our old lease. The man had just run her credit and drawn up a contract without talking to us first. I even mentioned on multiple occasions we were just here to research and told him the exact color combo we were looking for. It almost seemed like the salesperson was picking and choosing what he wanted to hear from us. We were in shock. It's one thing to bait and switch on car colors. I can live with that. But it was the disarray of the showroom, the pushy tactics by our salesperson, and just the overall lack of trust that brought us back to reality. I mouthed my wife, let's get out of here. I've bought many cars over the last three decades, and I've never met such unprofessional behavior before. Needless to say, we found my wife's dream car in the right color at a perfect price online just a few days later.